How's it going? I'm Michael and this is Budget Bills. My dad and I bring rusty, crusty old cars back to life. What's happening, Budget Builders? And welcome back to the channel. You know what that is. That's the motor, that 2.7. Now, obviously with all the work that we've put into the car and we still have going with the car, there's no point leaving this engine dirty and nasty like it is. I'd like to be able to eat off of this thing. And so what we've got going on here, it's kind of a mess around now. We, this thing sucked to begin with. We kind of had to figure it out. We've been out here trial and error. We still got stuff everywhere. We got this little blaster from Harbor Freight. There's your gun. And we've got some walnut shells. Now this is nice because this is all harmless and it's very light abrasive on all of our surfaces here but should get us nice and clean where we need to be now we've got everything closed off we've got paper towels stuffed in all the ports every oil orifice or anything's closed back off i got our covers on and all of our our intake and exhaust openings are all covered up here so the starting of this video is going to be a montage on getting this engine clean we're just going to get it completely knocked out get all the oil and grime cleaned off of it and have her ready to go. So first thing, we'll tilt it up on its side. Let's blast the bottom side of this thing. Come on. All right. Come back a little bit. Let's give this a retry. As you can see, we swept up a lot of the junk and we're straining it back out so we can reuse it. Now, obviously the better way to do this, because there's still just stuff everywhere, would have been to actually put a tarp or something down. But I didn't think that far ahead. He mentioned buying one over at Harbor Freight and we didn't, I didn't. So we're doing this, it's working. You see it's keeping all the trash out there and we'll keep on moving. This obviously has to come back off. Now we'll clean and paint it while it's off. Now one really nice thing about having all this oil clean off of here is that is gonna allow this engine to run cooler and run better. And so that's one big nice thing about getting all that nice and clean. And so I'm really pleased with that, especially to be the bottom of the engine. Now we'll go ahead and flip it over to its top side. Actually, probably just turn it around and we'll blast the top side and get it all cleaned up.
tip it another way, we we'll blow it off again. So clean, you can eat off of it. All right, so we do still need to pull these back off. But what I've done is we're actually gone ahead and ordered a powder coater kit. We can get these sandblasted and then we're going to powder coat them and get them looking pretty sharp. And I think that'll be nice and really top off that engine. Obviously, she's not shiny. She's not fancy, but she's super nice and clean. And so we can see if we have any kind of oil leaks or anything going on and it has that nice original finish. All right, with a clean engine... We might as well get the cover looking clean. Now this was one that I picked up from a friend of mine, John. It does have a little break here. All these do. But there's so many other spots to hold this thing on in the realm of what you can find. I mean, there's a bunch of busted up ones that you find online. So what I'd like to try to do with this is it is the original green. I'd consider painting it. Probably just leave it like it is. First thing we'll do is wash it. And I want to attempt to wet sand, compound, and wax it. It might sound crazy. It's just an engine cover, but I'd like it to look really nice. So we're gonna run down here, get it washed up, and we'll work on wet sanding it. Got our degreaser here. At least get that bottom side really good. The top's mostly dust. Just tap it. I tried. Tap it right here. This is this is a good one. Okay. Let me see if you can. Pretty clean little fan shroud, but let's make it nicer. All right, so what I'd like to work on trying to get some of this dryness and some of these imperfections out to start with is wet sanding. We've got some old paint on here and stuff, some scuffs and scratches, and I'm gonna use a 1200 grit sandpaper and we're just gonna work on wet sanding her. Now I'm not 100% positive because obviously something like this I don't, I assume does not have a gel coat. So I'm not sure if it's just gonna suck in the compound and the wax or what, but I think it'll be worth a try. And I think it'll look really nice. Alright, 
so I've got our mirror glaze ultra cut compound from Meguiar's oh, that I use on basically everything. And I am going to attempt to just do this one by hand. We'll see how it goes. I think more or less it's just soaking it in, isn't it? I should have just used the tool on this. Yep, I give up. I'm using the tool. <laughs> now, I'm a this mess. What is it? Can I? Oh, that thing. Uh, Heavy. Oh, I guess I should plug it in, huh? It's been a long day. What's a little by Sportster or something? A what? A little Sportster. <laughs> hey, Dad. Did I borrow you? I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to do anything because it's not actually. Now we'll just take our wax. This may not last, this may not work. If there's another product to put on here, y'all holler, but let's see what it do. I think for the most part, we're just allowing that to soak down into the pores of that fiberglass. It's a whole lot nicer than it originally was, and it's pretty close to factory original, so. I'm gonna call that a win. Not too shabby. I can't wait to get these rocker covers looking sharp, but all cleaned up. She is looking sharp. All right, so although I'd love to go ahead and have this on here, we got some busted blades and we got a cracked housing. But we do want to save that alternator. It's actually a pretty good looking, fairly clean alternator in there. So let's go ahead and get that pulled really quick. All right, so it does just have six 10 millimeter nuts here, which I guess will pull your main base off here did nothing. Oh, uh, it's actually bolted through. 
So I need to get, we need to go ahead and get the pulley off here. Don't you just love an impact? fan try to tap out okay. the okay. so let me, let me to hold this yeah hmm. how was that gonna happen I hit my hand you good yep <laughs> thankfully they didn't put it on a taper shaft so it just come right off nice so Stop we need a replacement 11 blade this is good this is good. You know what? The Challenger messed up? Is that oh what you boy. said? Challenger well, this is junk anyways. We'll have to get new bolts. Yeah. You said the Challenger messed up? Remember it a long time ago. Is that what I found in three bolts? It is. Okay. All right, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. I know that probably felt like a fairly short video, especially compared to what we have going on. Our last trip when we took this thing out to get painted and everything, that really took a big dent in my penny bank. And we've been trying to recoup a little bit from that. And so you probably wonder why we have these will it runs and stuff going on. Well, that's basically trying to recoup from that so we can keep working on this car some more. We have a lot of stuff ordered for this thing, and so very shortly we're gonna be able to wrap this engine up with everything that's coming in. All the parts, not ordered, not only ordered, I have to go pick some stuff up, and a few other things to get everything ready to put back on this engine, get it complete and ready to go, and we can start getting it ready to put back in that car. We're fixing to wrap up our paint job and what we have going on there, and then it's basically just gonna be final assembly from that point, getting ready to drive this thing. I really hope y'all enjoyed that video. Show what we can do cleaning up with those walnuts and how well they actually did with that magnesium. We will see you guys later this week. We have some really cool uploads coming up, so keep an eye out for those. If you haven't already, be sure to hit the subscribe button, notification bell. Peace out. Catch y'all on the flip side.